Explain the nature of amperometric titration curve. If in a titration, current is measured as a function of volume of titrant to determine the end point, the titration is known as amperometric titration. The graph of current versus volume of titrant added is plotted and from the graph end point is calculated. The nature of amperometric titration curve can be explained with three different cases. First, when titrant or a reactant is a reducible species. Second, titrant is a reducible species. And third, both titrant and titrant are reversible species. So, let's take the first case. Titrant or reactant is reducible species. For example, titration of lead plus 2 ions with sulfate minus 2 ions or oxalate ions. In this case, lead plus 2 ion solution is taken in beaker and it is titrant. And sulfate ion solution is filled in burette as titrant. As the titration proceeds, the concentration of lead ions decreases due to formation of precipitate of lead sulfate. So reaction is lead plus 2 combines with sulfate ions producing lead sulfate precipitate. Hence, diffusion current also decreases till it becomes minimum at the end point. The diffusion current remains constant beyond the end point since the titrant does not yield a diffusion current during the titration. The potential applied to the cell is kept constant at minus 0.8 volt against saturated calomel electrode. Second case, titrant is reducible species. In this case, as the titration proceeds, the current remains steady till the equivalence point. Since no species is reduced, however, at the equivalence point, the added titrant is reduced and the current is steadily increases. For example, titration of non-reducible magnesium plus 2 ions with reducible 8-hydroxyquinoline or oxine at the potential of minus 1.6 volt against saturated calomel electrode. So magnesium plus 2 combines with two molecules of hydroxyquinoline producing a complex and two hydrogen ions are produced. And the last case is both titrant and titrant are reducible species. In this case, the current first decreases due to removal of the titrant or reactant due to reaction with titrant. The current is minimum at the end point. On further addition of the titrant, the current once again increases. When we plot a graph of current versus volume of titrant added, thus V-shaped curve is obtained. For example, titration of lead ions versus dichromate ions at the potential of minus 0.8 volt versus saturated calomel electrode. So, lead combines with potassium dichromate producing lead chromate plus two potassium ions are liberated.